Special thanks to Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring this video. These kinds of sponsorships are essential for smaller channels such as myself to continue to thrive. So if you want to find out how I maintain this glorious beard, please stay tuned until the end of the video. Gaia Online. So was it like Anime Girl Club Penguin, AIM, Anime Instant Messenger, uh, Anime Fast and Furious? Do you know what Gaia Online is? Oh, okay, he just comes here to buy nudes. Oh wow, he's rich. I'm good, my dude. After doing my Neopets video, I got a lot of requests to do something similar for Gaia Online. And I'm trying, it's just that Gaia is a lot less cohesive than Neopets. Do you know what Gaia Online is? Okay, I, I, I should Google it. Let's do that. Gaia Online was founded in 2003 as Go Gaia and rebranded in 2004 as Gaia Online. Its goal is essentially to be an anime themed social networking site with chat and forums at its core, but it's turned into a whole community. At its height, this game was receiving tie-in promotions with things like Twilight, Sonic Generations, Harry Potter, Scott Pilgrim, The Walking Dead, and Paul Blart Mall Cop. In 2008, Time Magazine added Gaia Online to its list of the 50 best websites, and in 2011, Mashable gave it an award for the best user experience. Gaia is still active today. Maybe not as active as it was a few years ago, but it's been able to stay afloat. So I'm diving headfirst into a rabbit hole that I've successfully avoided until now. So you start things off by creating your own avatar. I always get the characters from Gaia and MapleStory mixed up. Pixelated anime characters. You could choose from a few different species, including anime girl, cats, dogs, bunnies, teddy bears, anime girl. You can choose a boy, but I'm obviously not going to. I'm going with the sort of, you know, medieval vibe, but you can always change it. Maybe you want a sort of fantasy summer vibe, or I can just, you know, get naked and, oh wow, what is this, 2007? Well, yeah, it, it actually is. You have a house, a car, specifically a Scion car, aquarium pets, etc. It's all based on collectible items you get by spending that sweet, sweet Gaia cash, that premium currency of the game. But let me tell you this, having Gaia Platinum, the in-game earned currency, is much better. So nobody's talking to me, so I figured I gotta pimp out my character. But all of the good items are sold out at the premium shops. Listen, I just want a pair of legs to live up to my namesake. Billium thick. But the legs are all sold out. Instead, I'm just stuck with my octopus. Right on. Gaia has multiple overworld chat rooms that you can enter, with the main one being Towns and Towns 2. But the problem is that when you enter the chat room, you have to choose from different servers. I'm sure at one point this worked well, but now the game is at an awkward point. Oftentimes, the primary server alpha is too full, so you enter another server and absolutely no one is there. So if you want to interact with anyone, you have to be in the alpha server. Let me just reload the page over and over again until it lets me in. Plus, no one is talking to me, so I have to update my look. Again. Ugh, still nothing. Maybe if I had some legs, they would be interested. Alright, so I'm updating my character after buying whatever I could on the premium store. I need to blend in and stand out at the same time. I'm gonna make the most anime character I can think of. I got wings, crazy hair, crazy outfits, and I'm missing something, but I can't put my finger on it. Yes. May I introduce you to- oh, Chan. But now I need to update my profile. I need to assimilate. Rar XD! Oh, I love Gaia Online Anime! Club Penguin is for dorks. Raffle Mao! If I see you in IRL, I'm going to glomp you. Gur forever! I love Hot Topic! Hit me up on AIM! Let's be friends! All your base are belong to us. Okay, now I need a proper background. LMAO waffles. Let's just throw myself in there for promotional sake. <laughs> oh yes, my favorite photo of myself. Throw up some stickers and wow! I got a friend request! It's Tom! All the official characters who run the shops and different features in the game all have this hand-drawn art style which looks nothing like anything else in the game. There's very little visual consistency. Like, look at Sam, the character in charge of the Scion Build-A-Car section. Now look at Elo-Chan. How do you pronounce that face? How do you refer to that? Even the pixelated version of Sam doesn't look like the custom characters. Oh, and when you're building a car, this song plays. Rolling down the street in my Chevy Impala. Accident, just dancing for some dollars. Which is exactly what I think of when I hear chibi pixelated anime girls. Speaking of cars, one of the chat overworlds is Rally, a place where you loiter outside a convenience store and show off your car. I bought items for my car, but I couldn't figure out how to 
to equip them, and whenever I tried to do a practice race, it just wouldn't work. I looked it up on YouTube, it looks like it's just a 1v1 linear race where you jump over obstacles. There are a bunch of little games you can play to earn Gaia Platinum, but unlike Neopets, Gaia doesn't really have a defined world. Well, it kind of does, it's in the manga, but the website itself doesn't present it very well. So the games are just kind of decorated with Gaia online logos. It's sort of like getting custom pens and labels printed at Office Depot, charging $34.95 for it and calling it merch. There's pinball, a word game, a puzzle game, and the one that everyone I've talked to about Gaia online has mentioned, fishing. You can buy bait with Gaia Platinum and you try to catch fish. Or, or trash. Once you snag a fish, you have to use a mouse to keep the lure inside the lines. The game isn't exciting, but this is where I met my first nice Gaians. For a while, Gaia's flagship game was ZoMG, an MMO which has been described to me as both horribly boring and awesome. Here's what I can tell you about it. I have a machine gun. I'm shooting flamingos. The newer big game on Gaia Online is Lake Kindred, which was introduced only a few years ago. It's a Pokemon clone. I played it for a bit, you have to level up to progress. I just kept clicking the attack button while I worked on study guides for my final. Yeah, not something that really grabbed my attention. Through interacting in towns and playing in games, you earn the in-game currency, Gaia Platinum. But Platinum hasn't always been the game's currency. Up until last year, that's what my research told me, the game was using a currency called Gaia Gold. The in-game currency is generated as it's needed in the game. Its output isn't controlled by a treasury. Like many MMOs, items in Gaia are limited. Using Gaia Cash, the premium in-game currency, which costs real money, Premium shops will sell up to 1,000 copies of an item before it's discontinued, like the legs. After which, the only way to get the item is through the user marketplace, where users sell it for Gaia Gold, now Platinum. However, with so much gold cycling through the game, its value decreased. Eventually, Gaia was just like, all you have to do is save up to get the items you want. Wow. What what a solution here. Just please take the Nobel Prize in Economic Sciences. Janet will be yelling about this. Well, let me try to explain to you how bad this inflation got. The most common example used to illustrate the hyperinflation is the emo bag. A user posted to a forum thread explaining that she couldn't afford the bag, which cost 300,000 gold. She explained after years of playing, she didn't even have 100,000 gold. This was in 2007. The price fluctuated from 300,000 down to 270,000, back up to 700,000. It was all over the place. Turns out just saving up for it didn't work. And in 2009, they hired an economist from Stanford University to help solve the problem. And a 2% sales tax was added to every item. This helped for a while. Eventually, gold generating items were sold to regular users and the inflation just got worse. In 2014, the price of the emo bag was 11 billion. Finally, in 2017, Gaia introduced Gaia Platinum as a new currency. The exchange rate, 10 million gold to one platinum. Since playing for a few days, I've been able to earn about 700 platinum, so it seems to be in check for now. Just wait until 2028 when they release Gaia New Platinum Plus. Unfortunately, these games have to adopt premium currencies to stay afloat, but luckily they have communities who are willing to pay big time in order to get premium currencies within the game. They just shove money into this game. What I'm trying to say is, daddy cares, how much are you willing to pay for nudes? Unfortunately, I can't promise you anything below the waist. Uh, the legs are sold out. Thank you to Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring this video. You know, everyone has their own unique grooming routines. For me, it's to make sure that I don't go from hipster trash to hipster filth. This beard does not maintain itself. Dollar Shave Club has everything you need to satisfy your grooming routines. Toothpaste, body wash, hair styling products, they have it all. For a limited time, Dollar Shave Club is offering new members and you, my viewers, a daily essential starter kit for only $5. It comes with sample sizes for many of their products, including the Dr. Carver's Shave Butter. If you're like me and you have a baby face, this is essential. The Wanderer Calming Amber Lavender Body Cleanser. It's quality. And the peppermint scented one wipe Charlie's. With the quality ingredients such as chamomile and aloe vera. 
they're for your butt. But most importantly, my personal razor of choice, the executive handle with four replacement cartridges. I have been a Dollar Shave Club customer for a few years now. Even when I was looking like this, the only razor that I would trust to touch my sensitive baby face is the executive razor. Even now, I still need to shave my cheeks, my neck, and other places too the back of my neck. After the first box, replacement cartridges are sent for only a few dollars a month. I'm not lying when I say I have sensitive skin and this is the best razor I have ever used. So grab this offer by going to dollarshaveclub.com slash billion. Try it out, get some quality bathroom products and help out the show.